Hi guys, I thought I would do just a quick video on nail wheels. I've had some questions lately um, after I've used them to do like my crackle swatches. And I just have two. I found that's enough for me because I don't leave them painted after I use them for whichever swatches I'm doing. I, you know, will take the polish off and uh, continue on to my next swatches. And I got these online. Um, I don't remember exactly where, probably like Trans Design or 88 Beauty, maybe Head to Toe. You know, there are a lot of different sites that I go to online that sell nail polish and manicure supplies. And I've also seen them available at Sally Beauty Supply. So if you don't want to order online, check your local beauty supply. And, you know, they're not really hard to find. It's just something that you know you're not likely to notice if you're not specifically looking for it and as far as you know after you use them and you want to get the nail polish off you have a couple options you can use polish remover but you have to be sure to use non-acetone polish remover because of course the nail wheel is plastic and any remover with acetone in it is going to start dissolving that plastic and you know it'll basically ruin your nail wheel so you want to stay away from that but I actually don't bother with remover at all um, I'm not quite sure how best to show this on camera but oh that's really loud and stupid I don't know if you guys can hear that but that's like a little motorized scooter like not even like a motorcycle like one of those stand-up two-wheel scooters motorized but um, what I was saying is the wheel, the nails are curved like a natural nail and they're actually very flexible I hope you guys can see that and so what I do is when I'm done with the nail polish like this is my nail wheel that I used um, in my last crackle video just press it like that and usually the nail polish will see like that start to peel off and will usually come off in one sheet and I hope you guys could see that um, some polishes are more stubborn than others you probably even hear that but you see it'll just come off in a flake of polish and see that one there is going to take some more work but usually you'll flex it and you'll kind of hear the polish crack and then you can peel it off like that so I hope that answers your guys' questions um, if you have any more please feel free to leave them down below as a comment and as always I'll try to get back to you with uh, you know my answer at least um, and if you have any other techniques that you use to clean your nail wheel feel free to leave those as well because I mean, as I try to always tell you guys, I'm not a professional. Everything that I've learned, I've, you know, learned as I went along or learned from other bloggers. So I'm, you know, not above continuing to learn and, uh, you know, learn a lot from you guys. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching.